The bariatric team at St. Luke's is dedicated to helping their patients achieve half the weight and twice the life. My weight has held me back almost my whole life. I um, remember being overweight as a child and I was constantly made fun of because of my weight. I'm an emergency medical technician. I got to the point where I got so big I couldn't lift. My, my son wouldn't let me babysit my grandkids because I could, if something, if they were choking on a toy, they say they were on the floor across the room from me, I couldn't get off the sofa fast enough to help them. I walked into my doctor's office and I had pneumonia and I got on the scale and it tipped 404 pounds. And I looked at my husband and I said, I'm gonna die if I don't do something. I had a gastric sleeve on October 25th, 2016. I went to St. Luke's, I went to their informational session, and I met with Dr. Claros, and I fell in love with him. He is, he's like, we'll get you there. The program that we have here at St. Luke's, the weight management program, uh, started in 2009. We are performing anywhere from 12 to 15, sometimes 16 cases a week. That is by definition a high volume center. I can tell you without hesitation that we have the best center in the whole region. We're, we're personal, you meet with us one-on-one, -on -one. you have unlimited access to the dietitians and social workers in the surgery program, and um, everybody in the program knows the patient's name and gets to know you personally. Before the surgery, I was diabetic. I was on metformin, which is a pill form of insulin. I, was, I also had high blood pressure. I was on high blood pressure medicine. The main goal is to cure the metabolic syndrome. They're gonna lose weight, absolutely. That's just a side effect. They're gonna look amazing, yes. But the main reason, the main goal that they're having these surgeries done is to cure all these conditions. Jonette is the perfect example of how, uh, you know, amazingly we can impact a patient's life. She came, you know, she had multiple conditions, multiple comorbidities, and she has been extremely successful through the surgery. Look at her transformation. It's a completely different person. Our family is centered around more active, it's a more active lifestyle. You know, we go to the park with the, with the grandkids, we, you know, do things do things that I couldn't do before. I couldn't walk to the stop sign, which is one block away from my office front door, let alone walk, 5K is three miles, let alone walk three miles. The nice thing about the 5K for St. Luke's is you go at your own pace. I just remember crossing that finish line and Lori giving me the biggest hug and Nancy hugging me. And then Dr. Claris, when I got back to the pavilion, said, did you ever think in a million years you would do this? Never. The most rewarding part about what I do is, you know, changing people's lives. Seeing our patients at the fashion show and the 5K and seeing, you know, how excited they were to change their life and do something they never in a million years would have thought they could do, that, that kind of keeps me going. A lot of these patients, you know, get to live again their lives and they regain their lives. So I'm very happy and just uh, humble to be allowed to participate in this kind of transformation and journey of our patients towards a better life to a healthier life. They tell me I have two birthdays, my biological birthday and the day of my surgery because they're really living life again. I was in a size 32 when I started this journey. I'm somewhere between a 14 and an 18. A year ago I couldn't walk one block. Now I'm looking at walking 13 miles. I can lift weights, I can kickbox, I take my grandchildren to Sky Zone and we jump on the trampoline every couple of weeks. And it's just, it's fun, stuff I would never do. My only regret is not doing it sooner. I wish that I found St. Luke's a whole lot sooner. Joining us in the studio is Dr. Mar L. Char, bariatric surgeon at St. Luke's University Health Network. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. You've got so many amazing weight loss stories to tell, but who would be the ideal candidate for the bariatric surgery? Well, again, thank you so much for having me. We do have amazing uh, stories, and we do have a, an amazing uh, weight management center that we're very proud of. And usually when we sit down and talk to patients, we look at their BMI, which is the body mass index. It's a ratio of, your, uh, of the weight to the height. And depending on the BMI, we decide if the patient is a candidate or not. 
And as we see, uh, it's not uncommon to really lose half of your body weight during this. Or you surgery. can, you can. I mean, we do uh, operate on patients uh, who, uh, whose weight ranges from like 200 pounds up to 600 pounds, or even more. Uh, and depending on the procedure, depending on the age, and depending on uh, a, a other um, medical conditions, people can lose up to half their weight. So it's not uncommon for us to see a patient who's 400 pounds to go down to 200 pounds or even closer to their ideal body weight. Dr. Elchar, weight loss surgery is just uh, one piece of the puzzle. What are some of the other pieces? Sure, so uh, weight loss surgery, uh, and we call weight loss surgery metabolic surgery now because in addition to the issue of weight, we're taking care of a many other medical conditions uh, that are very common in morbidly obese patients like diabetes, hypertension, sleep apnea, heartburn, back pain, all these medical issues do get better afterward. And that's why we don't call it weight loss surgery anymore, we call it metabolic surgery. But you're 100% you're right. Weight loss is one of the major driving forces behind uh, patients seeking help. However, the main issue, and that's what I tell my patients when they come see me, the procedure is very safe, it's very efficacious, the success rate is very high, but the main thing is support. Support before and also support afterward because our patients need help, need support, whether it's psychological support or nutritional support to make sure that they continue to be successful and to make sure that they stay on track because that's the key to success long term. And we're truly very honored and very uh, uh, happy with the support that we got from the hospital. We have an army of dietitians, social workers, uh, physician assistants, nurses, uh, medical weight loss specialists, in addition to surgeons, uh, to help support those patients before and after. Uh, meaning those patients continue to come and see us on a regular basis. They continue to be in touch with our dietitians and social workers. Our job is to maintain um, a contact with them and make sure that they're on track. They're losing weight the way they're supposed to. They continue to exercise. They continue to follow the lifestyle changes. Like you said, lifestyle changes are truly necessary. Um, and I usually tell the patients, as long as you are committed and as long as you come back and see us and as long as you follow the instructions, the success is very high. And I want to congratulate you again on your hit new book, Everything You Need to Know uh, About Weight Loss Surgery. And thank you for the uh, personal uh, autographed thank copy you. of the book, a very, very interesting book. And it really does tell you everything you need, you need to, to know. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. So we did that just because, uh, like we said, support is a key factor uh, in uh, patients losing the weight and maintaining the weight loss. I put that in a very simple format, in the book format, and it's basically questions and answers. And believe it or not, most of those questions in the book are questions that I got from my own patients over the years. What kind of vitamins do I have to take? How much weight am I supposed to lose? Uh, what happens if I develop a complication, nausea, vomiting, hair loss? All those issues are issues that patients have to deal with. Uh, and these are things that we actually educate our patients about. But it's always good for patients to have a resource to go back to if they have a concern or a question. I was going to say anyone interested, uh, seriously interested in this procedure, uh, this is a must read book. Thank you so very much for being here. And Thank keep you so much for having the me. The fabulous work. Thank you. For more information on metabolic surgery or anything on today's show, just go to our website, thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and remember, Every day is your chance to be your best self. This is The Peak. It's Steph from the ASR team here. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos.